Why well, you'll never get some people to keep their mouths shut. I was in the blue line this evening. And who do you think was there blown out of him? Well, that little blower, Tommy Owens. There he was telling everybody that he knew where there was bombs, that he had a friend who was a general in the IRA, and that he could tell them what the staff was thinking of doing, and that he could lay his hands on tons of revolvers that wasn't a man from where he was living, but that he knew his own no one would keep it to himself. God blast the little blower, anyway. It's the look at him that deserves to be plugged. What are you looking for among the books, Donald? The letter that I got today from Mrs. Henderson and Mr. Gallagher. I'm blessed to I know where I put it. Did you look for it in the morning? It's addressed to the Irish Republican Army, and considering the possibility of a raid, I think oh. we'd be better get rid of it. We better be getting to bed, Debbie. Good night, Mr. Darwin. Good night, Mr. Shields. What made they give you such a letter as that? Don't they know the state the country is in? And you were worse to take it. You got it? I can't find it anywhere. Isn't this terrible? What were you thinking of when you took such a letter as that? Ye gods, there's nobody any brains at all, at all, all. A hopeless country. Is he's right in your pockets. Oh! Ah, 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 thanks be to God, here it is. I'm burning it now! God's sake, don't take any letters with that again. There's the lorry going away now. I can sleep in peace for the rest of the night. Just to make sure of everything now. Have a look in that bag of Maguire's. Not that there can be anything in it. Well, if there's nothing in it, what's the good of looking? It won't kill you to look, will it? It's full of bombs. Mel's bombs. Holy mother of God, you're joking. If the tans come, you'll find out whether I'm joking or no. Isn't this a nice pickle to be in? Holy St. Anthony, look down on us. There's no use of blaming St. Anthony. Why did you let him leave the back here? Why did I let him leave the back here? Why did I let him leave the back here? How did I know what was in it? Didn't I think there was nothing in it? Only spoons and hairpins. What do we do now? What do we do now? God grant there'd be no rage tonight. Oh, nearly the things are going wrong when I missed mass this morning. Put your give over your pail! It's from work out what's best to be done. One thing's for certain. As soon as morning comes, I'm on the run out of this house. Oh, think of yourself looking at the rest of them, leaving me to bear the brunt of it. Why shouldn't you bear the brunt of it? McGuire was no friend of mine. Besides, it's your fault. You knew the sort of fellow he was. You should have been on your guard. Did I know he was a gunman? Did I know he was a gunman? Did I know he was a gunman? You mean to tell me you that you. Just a moment. No, just the moment. McGuire was connected just with the Republican movement. You... What's the use of trying to tell damn lies? Donald, they're all around the house. Oh. You must be going to read the place. I was looking out the window and I seen them. Would you be on the watch every night? Have you anything? If you have, there you are! Oh, oh, there you are! Hey, what is it? What have you got? Where are they? Bombs. 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 I'll take them to my room. Move it, move it. Maybe they won't search there. But if you do a self, they won't hear me again. Same as the contrition donor. Take a glass off the bone! You must be a little bit out of hearing, eh? I, I, I had a rheumatic fever a few years ago, so I never since I did it. It do be a little hard, hard of hearing at times. I it you were out of bed. I, I, I was in bed, but when I heard the knock and I got up to open the door. Oh! Oh, you can't blow you, huh? You would like to uh, receive a little visit from us. Eh? Eh? Answer me! Yes, sir! What's your mind? Dan, I was born in Ireland. Oh, you were, were you? Irish and proud of it, eh? What's uh, your name? Shame, uh, Jimmy Shee, ah, sir. You're Celt. One of the Celtic race. 
that's got a lingo all its own and is going to overthrow the British Empire? I don't think. Yeah, where's your gun? You never had a gun in me, hand in me life. No. You wouldn't know what a gun is if you saw one, I suppose. Yeah, what's this? Oh, oh please, 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 be careful. Why? Why well, I gotta be careful, but. It's gone. It might go off. Well, what price if it did? It might be reloaded. Is there any ammunition there? What's in that cupboard? Only a little bit of grub, sir. You find nothing here. No one in the house has any connection with politics. No. I never met a bloke yet, didn't say that. We're getting a little bit too white, you know, to be kidded with that sort of talk. Can I go and get a drink of water, sir? You want a barrel of water before you're done with us? Hello. What's this? A statue of Christ and a crucifix. <sighs> I think he was in a blooming monastery. Uh, upstairs and downstairs, they're making a litter of everything. And they found a pint bottle of whiskey on their drink and everything. Yeah, where'd you live? Quick! Down where'd you kitchen, live? So, and when you go down, would you ask them not to be drinking? He's come without listening to me. Maybe sense in the whole house, Mrs. Gregson. Leave a thing in the kitchen that they didn't flitter about the floor. All the things in the cupboard and the little odds and ends that I keep in the big box. And no, they're a terrible gang of blackguards. Did they go upstairs? They'd hardly search Minnie Powell's room, do you think, would they, Mrs. Gregson? Well, just to show them they saw a man he was. Before they come in, Dolphy put the big Bible on the table, open at the first gospel of St. Peter, and marked the 13th to the 17th verse in red ink. You know the passages, Mr. Shields. Submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake. What do you think they did, Mr. Shields? They caught a hold of the Bible and flung it on the floor. What do you think of that, Mr. Shields? Then one turns to another. Jack, says he. Have you seen the light? Is your soul saved? And then they grabbed a hold of poor Dolphy, calling him Mr. Moody and Mr. Sankey, and wanted him to offer up a prayer for the Irish Republic. And when they were putting me out there, they had the poor man sitting up in bed, his hands crossed on his breast, his eyes looking up at the ceiling, and he singing a hymn. We shall meet in the sweet by and by, and all the time, Mr. Shields, they were drinking his whiskey. Well, they were all that sensible. What did he want to be bringing whiskey home with him for? They're bad enough sober. What are they going to be like when they're drunk? Yeah, he always brings a drop home at him. He calls it his medicine. They hardly search all the houses. Do you think they will, Mrs. Gregson? You have a picture over the mantelpiece of King William across the barn. Do you know what they were trying to make out, Mr. Shields? That was a picture of Robert Emmett and the Secret Society. She's listening to a word I'm saying. The country is hopeless and the people is hopeless. I've got to tell her to go to hell in the She's worse than the oxy. Another thing is here. It's safer to have a woman in the room. If they come across the bombs, I hope God Minnie will say nothing. But well, we're a pair of pitiable cowards to let poor Minnie suffer knowing that we and not she are to blame. What else can I do, ma'am? Do you want us to be done in? If you're anxious to be riddled, I'm not. Besides the boat hammer. She's only a girl. And as so long as she keeps her mouth shut, it'll be all right. Well, I wish I could be sure of that. Do you think they're going, Mrs. Gregson? What are they doing now? Well, there's not a bit of me that's not shaking like a jelly. Are they gone upstairs, Mrs. Gregson? Do you think, Mrs. Gregson, will they still be going? We were making poor Dolphy sit up in the bed. I clear to God, I thought every minute I'd hear their guns going off and see poor Dolphy stretched out dead in the bed. Shh! I think I hear a moaning. Ah, you might as well be talking to a stone. They're all hopeless, hopeless, hopeless. She thinks she hears a moan. It's bloody near time somebody made a moan. Did she say anything? Is she saying anything? What's she saying, Mrs. Gregson? Well, then I hope they'll give that Minnie Powell a cooling. With her fancy stockings and her pom poms and her crepe de sheen blouses, I always knew she'd come to no good. I'm going to keep her mouth shut. And here's poor Dolphy. And not a feather astray in a mod, Dolphy, dear. Thanks to God, you're all right. I thought you'd never see the morning. 
Of course I'm all right. I'm going to put a bother on Dolphy Grigson, huh? <laughs> Not the tans, anyhow. <laughs> well, now, you're saying you're stretched out in the bed and you singing a hymn. Who's singing a hymn? Do you hear me talking to you? Where did you hear me singing a hymn? I was only joking, Dolphy. Hey, hey, look, hey, you, your place is below, and not standing here ghosting with men, right? Off, away with you, quick! <laughs> Exciting few moments, Mr. Darwin. Huh? <laughs> Mrs. G lost the head completely. Panic-stricken. Yeah, but, uh, I, uh, uh, I suppose that's only natural, hmm? All women is very nervous, hmm? Yeah, the only thing to do is to show them that they cannot put the wind up you. You show the least sign of fright and they walk on you, simply walk on you. Uh, two of them come down. Put them up. Revolvers under the nose, you know, the usual way. What's all the bother about, says I? Quite calm. Oh, no bother at all, says one of them. Only this gun might go off and hit somebody. Have you, me? <laughs> what if it does, says I? A man can only die once, and you will find that Grigson will not squeal. Oh, my God, you're a cool one, says the other, and there's no blood in it out. <laughs> well, that's the best way to take them. Yeah. Only makes things worse to show them you got the wind up. Any ammunition here? Is the fellow that'll come in here? Uh, I don't think so, says I, but you better have a look. No back chat, says he, or you might get plugged. I don't know of any clause in the British Constitution, says I, that makes it a crime for a man to speak in his own room. With that, just had a look around and off he went. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, if a man keeps a stiff upper front... Say a mini pound is shot! God's sake, speak easy! Don't bring him in here and tap us again! It's all you can think of! You realize she's been shot to save us! It's my fault, I'm to blame! It's your fault and mine both. We're a pair of dastardly cowards to let her have done what she did. She did have her own back. We didn't ask her to do it! What's gonna happen next? Mr. Daffin, isn't it terrible? Isn't it terrible? Minnie Powell, poor little Minnie Powell's been shot dead. They were raiding the house a few doors down and had just got up in their lorries to go away when they was ambushed. You never heard such shooting. And in the thick of it, Minnie went to jump off the lorry. She was on. She was shot through the bosom. It was horrible. See the blood poured and out, Minnie moaning. They, they found a piece of paper in her breast with Minnie written on it and some other name they couldn't make out because of the blood. The officer kept it. The ambulance is bringing her to hospital now, but what good's that when she's dead? Poor little Minnie Powell. Poor little Minnie Powell. To think you so full of life a few minutes ago and now she's dead. Ah, me, alas. Pain, pain ever, forever. It's terrible to think that little Minnie is dead, but it's still more terrible to think that Davrin and Shields are alive. Oh, Donald Davrin, shame is your portion now, till the silver cord is loosened or the golden bowl be broken. Oh, Davrin, Donald Davrin, poet and poltroon, poltroon and poet. I knew something would come out of the tapping on the wall.
You're a drunken beast, that's all you are. I'm what? I'll show you who's gaffer, though. Caught in an unhappy...